Hey guys, here's Anna. I just recorded another video, that's why I look like that. Uh, but this one will be later and for today I want to share with you my experience uh, playing and practicing on five different um, period pianos or historical pianos, you can call them, or pianoforte here in Germany, uh, they call them Hammerklavier. Four of them are from the Romantic period, so from the 19th century, and um, they are original. And one of them is um, a copy from um, a piano from Mozart's time, so from the 18th century. So I hope that will be interesting for you and yeah, let's get started! So I am already there and we actually have here three forte pianos, three romantic forte pianos and one classical one. So we have here a broadwood from London. I was told it's an instrument from about 1830s or maybe 40s. Then we have a um, Pleel from Paris. Um, I was told it's from about 1840s as far as I remember or 50s maybe and this is the latest one as far as I remember. This is Erard also from Paris. Uh, it's a bit out of tune, but never mind. Now I will try each of them and tell you what I think. So I will start now with Broadwood. Let's see how it feels and how it sounds. pieces from completely different styles on this piano and we should understand that the action of old pianos of forte pianos are much lighter than on our uh, modern piano and the range of the dynamics is definitely much smaller so um, I find it especially difficult to make forte on it so it's of course not that powerful than our um, modern grand pianos and yeah it's quite interesting because I don't know if it's this particular piano or they are like that in general but um, sometimes it's very difficult like to control what are you doing it's difficult to um, you know like to play chord and really to um, get like all for example four notes after the chord yeah, now it works, but um, yeah, sometimes I just had a feeling that um, it's a little bit difficult to control what I'm doing, but um, yeah, definitely you need some time 
to get used because it's almost like a completely different instrument but I will try now another one let's see how it works there I definitely enjoyed it much more than that um, Broadwood. First of all, it feels like kind of very modern in the way of um, the mechanic and in the way of the dynamic range. So I definitely have uh, much more possibilities on this piano. And I also think it's just simply in a much better condition. So it, it's really nice to practice on this piano. <laughs> We already have like quite powerful basses here and it's much easier to bring the melody up and yeah this is just a very nice piano and for now I also want to try this one this is a era seems to be quite out of tune but let's see I just want to try how does it feel like quite an interesting piano because it feels like a mix of those two pianos I played before on. It has quite a light action but at the same time it has some um, dynamic range and it has some power and it's also not that difficult to bring the melody up and um, yeah it's quite a nice piano unfortunately it's a little bit out of tune so I think uh, maybe I will try here some more pieces or parts from my program and then I will go back to Blie because it just feels the best for me but yeah it was very interesting to try these three different historical pianos some new experience you know so I decided to give a try also to this um, classical forte piano I think it's not an original one it's a copy from um, from a piano from Mozart's time so as you can see it doesn't even have like classical pedals as you know them they have these kind of pedals 
here that you press like that as you can see it's not so easy for me because my legs are really short <laughs> but yeah you do it like that it's not so easy in the beginning but the piano doesn't sound bad actually I should say and I will maybe try out my Scarlatti Sonata now even though probably like some Mozart Haydn pieces would be the best for it but I need to practice the Scarlatti Sonata at the moment so yeah let's see how it sounds and also as you can see it has much less keys than a normal piano I didn't come but we can see how much does this one have so this is one octave and a half two three four yeah like five octaves Classical forte piano has white keys um, on the place where we have uh, black keys in on the modern piano or even on those romantic uh, pianos and black keys are our white keys and of course from the sound and even from the action it's much closer to um, harpsichord than to modern piano and yeah the sound like is very um, metal I would say like very bright and has this kind of metal feeling even when you play in it and let's actually see how the hammers look like yeah they look already similar to modern hammers but from the feeling it's quite different and yeah, I didn't use these pedals. Oh, let's see actually how does this pedal sound, like a left pedal. Ah, oh, it has the same. It's interesting, it has the same function, as I understand, as the right pedal, which was sometimes the case, as far as I remember. So yeah, if it's more comfortable for you, you can use your left um leg or your right leg um however you want also i forget to tell you that on these classical pianos you use much less of your wrist movements and most of the time you just play with your fingers like on the harpsichord basically yeah because it won't give you um so much dynamic range it's actually really small dynamic range you can get out from the classical forte piano but if you uh, play with your fingers closer to the keyboard it will give you more um, control which is very necessary uh, playing on such a piano because um, also the I think it's called um, amplitude amplitude I don't know I will write it here um, it's much smaller here so you also need smaller movements uh, of your fingers that are more precise we have here this very interesting piano that I've never seen before it's from Aloyo Biba from München from the year 1835 and this is probably the most interesting thing I've ever tried in my life. It has a very nice, interesting sound, but it's very unusual. So I will try to play a little bit on it and maybe you can see how it works.
I hope you enjoyed uh, this video again. I'm sorry for the sound. Um, yeah, I just completely forgot probably how to vlog, but I guess I just should uh, record more vlogs. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.